Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your man, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, this is actually a very interesting one, and it looks like we have a potential opponent for who Anthony Joshua may be facing next. And this is coming from Malik Scott. It looks like Anthony Joshua may be facing Gerald Washington next. I'm looking like, all right, right there, but... This is coming out in BoxingNews24.com where it states, Anthony Joshua's next opponent is ready, reveals Deontay Wilder's trainer. And in this article, it goes on to state, Deontay Wilder's trainer, Malik Scott, has revealed that Anthony Joshua's next opponent is ready while also unveiling that Andy Ruiz Jr. could be next for Bronze Bomber. I already kind of figured that, but Scott tells Best Sports Betting Canada that Gerald Washington is ready to fight Anthony Joshua now after insisting that the Brit has been ducking a fight with Deontay Wilder. It also states, Gerald Washington is one of the leading names to possibly fight Anthony Joshua. It's not a rumor. It's an actual fact that he is one of the options, and it's something Gerald is ready for. I keep telling people Gerald is big, strong, heavy-handed guy. The physicalities are there, but what we've been working on is mental stamina and fighting at the highest level. That's more important than the physical. He also goes on to state, Gerald is better than ever. He's hungrier than ever, and I can't wait for you guys to see him. I can't wait to see him under the lights myself. I'm very optimistic the fight will get made, especially at this point with the move they're trying to do for AJ. That's what makes me optimistic about it, because I know the mission they're on with AJ, and that's not the mission I'm on for Deontay and AJ. Quote. Now, with this news coming out, dude, that's actually super interesting news, seeing that Gerald Washington could be the next potential opponent for a dude like Anthony Joshua. And we all know that Anthony Joshua has been on the search for a new boxing trainer. So I already kind of figured that he wasn't going to be going straight into a fight with a dude like Deontay Wilder working with a new trainer because he's definitely going to want to take some kind of a touch-up fight so he can be able to get used to his new trainer before going into a more dangerous fight with a dude like Deontay Wilder. And going up against a dude like Gerald Washington, it can actually be very interesting just for the simple fact is Gerald Washington, he is a big-ass dude. He is very heavy, heavy-handed. He is a live dog coming into this fight but at the same time the dude is he's kind of old right now i mean the dude i think is like 40 41 years old right now and i think he's coming off of like two knockout losses so i think he's three he's one in three out of his last four fights he's one in three and i think all three of those losses were all by knockout and two of those are back to back in his last two fights so with anthony joshua picking a dude like that it definitely does not surprise me but from what i hear gerald washington is now working with malik scott and what i've been hearing in the boxing community that knows the camp very well it definitely sounds like gerald washington has been rejuvenated with his boxing, with his career, with Malik Scott. So it's, it'll definitely be pretty interesting to see what will Gerald Washington come back looking like working with the dude like Malik Scott. And with Anthony Joshua coming into a potential fight with the dude like Gerald Washington, like I said, the dude is heavy-handed, the dude is definitely a live dog, and it'll definitely be a good touch fight for a dude like Anthony Joshua to be able to come back with off of his two back-to-back -back losses with the dude like Alexander Usyk. But I guess only time is going to tell if this fight will take place but if it does take place I wouldn't really mind it and it definitely let us know what is Anthony Joshua going to look like with his new trainer and then we'll just have to see what happens from there all right you guys so I hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so I hope you like the video holla at your man